Hi, I'm Ramon Martin de Pozuelo and I work in the Security Innovation and Transformation team in Kashaban and I'm going to explain you a story of how going towards an open and agile big data analytics in the financial sector. But first of all, I have to explain you a little bit more about Kashaban. We are a leading financial group in Spain and we, as a bank, collect many information from our customers in order to protect their security and their privacy. And also a little bit more about IVIDAS, which is an H2020 project that we joined in 2018 and has a duration of 36 months. In this project, we are collaborating with several entities around Europe and all of us, we are aligned with the same vision. A vision of a complete and safe environment for big data experimentation that serves a, as a self-service solution and increases the impact in the research community, but also contributes to the industrial innovation capacity and helps to increase the quality of our big data analytics and helps to integrate heterogeneous infrastructure and other solutions. We all have data silos in our entities, but it's not enough to break those internal data silos. We have to break intersectoral and intersectoral data silos in order to empower the big data analytics collaboration and also to provide new techniques and tools that apply to real world settings. That's what we want to provide in IBDAS. And that's what we did for several sectors. We as Cashabank represent the banking and financial sector, and we wanted to test the IBIDA solution on three different use cases that focus on fraud prevention. But why a bank as we are would be interested in a project like IBIDAS if we are already working with big data daily? Um, it is because we work with tons of data, but most of it is confidential. Um, it is data from our customers and we are not the real owners of this data, uh, so we have privacy concerns. Um, it is also because the lack of, ag of agility of our infrastructure. We have a huge infrastructure that allows us to work with this big data, um, but it's not easy to do some process on this data, especially for extracting the data, sharing data. Uh, we have a lot of security procedures and constraints that are for sure necessary, but hinder and slow down the, those data sharing processes that can help us to provide new big data analytics. So what we wanted is to exploit the, exploit the IBDAS platform to gain agility, efficiency and flexibility in our big data analytics, especially for security and fraud prevention. And that's a situation that we have right now in which we have all the life cycle of the big data analytics inside our premises and we can only rely on those technologies that we have inside of Cashabank. And on the other hand, what we propose in the IBDA solution would be to externalize part of the big data analytics lifecycle, um, extracting the data, doing the big data analytics on the cloud and then uh, collect the results of, uh, in the algorithm and expertise obtained and apply it uh, in, our, in our premises again. We tested with three different cases and our first approach in Cashabank was to use only synthetic data. Uh, we didn't want to share real data at all, but we wanted to test if we can use uh, generated data um, in the same way as we will use the real data. This is what we have done in the first use case in which we have generated synthetic data um, based on the connections uh, to the online banking of our customers because we wanted to analyze uh, potential relationships between them uh, through their IP address. We generate the use case in the Abidas platform with the help of the users of the project. Here we, we can have the different big data analytics that we can apply to this uh, data set. And we obtain fast results uh, over this synthetic data set, obtaining the number of relationships of the different users, uh, the actual relationship that we can get with the different uh, clients that we have in these data sets. 
and, and also a graph of these connections. But at the end, we realized it wasn't enough with the synthetic data for doing big data analytics outside our premises. Um, although it was very helpful for us in order to speed up the process of uh, starting a new project uh, allowing new people to access uh, this data and deploying uh, proof of concepts in order to test other solutions outside our premises. And that was a turning point for us in which we realized that it wasn't enough of using this synthetic data for doing big data analytics outside our premises and we need to share real data. And uh, we look for the best way for um, doing the big data analytics outside our premises uh, with real data. And the best way was to tokenize it, to uh, encrypt this data and look for ways of doing big data analytics over this encrypted data. And then uh, how, uh, how we can apply the results that we obtain in our premises, decrypting the data again. We did it with the second and the third use case. And thanks to the IBDAS platform, it was allowed to obtain new insights on this tokenized information that we have shared. So it was able to obtain anomalies on the information of the second use case. And we were able to apply different clustering algorithms to the data of the third use case. At the end, in summary, we uh, conclude that it was very helpful for us to establish this uh, testing environment for working uh, with big data analytics outside our premises. And also, it can be beneficial to open the community that can access to, to our data in a secure way. And we have already evaluated the benefits of IBDAS in different aspects, like speeding up the process of uh, accessing the data and the number of people that can access the data in a secure and agile way, as well as verifying it with different industrial use cases.